We've all brought home some fairly dodgy souvenirs from our holidays. Bottles of alcohol we may never drink, hats we'll never wear, and a tan that leaves our skin dry and peeling. But some intrepid travellers return with something even more unpleasant. One such traveller was Girish Gupta. In 1997, he went for the trip of a lifetime to Peru, but brought back with him a rather gruesome souvenir. Two months after I returned from South America, I noticed a, a sort of small, a small swelling on my on my front near my groin, and a dark patch, a bit like a scab, on my on my lower back. I went to see my GP. He said it was nothing to worry about; uh, it's just an infection that would go away, and the dark mark on my back would do the same. Unfortunately, a week later, the the mark on my back had turned into a small crater. The wound grew to about the size of a credit card. So I went to my GP and he referred me quite quickly to uh, Manchester's Infectious Diseases Unit, which was very good. The consultant there suspected a tropical disease called Leishmaniasis. Leishmaniasis is often misdiagnosed because you can't catch it in this country. Unfortunately, in the tropics, it's relatively common and it can occur as far north as Spain or southern France, where we often take our holidays. The culprits are these guys. Sandflies. In the same way that mosquitoes transmit malaria, these sandflies spread the Leishmaniasis parasite. The Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine is at the forefront of research into this disease. Scientist Dr. Rod Dillon shows me how it's transmitted. I've got some nice hungry ones here for you, George. Oh, that's nice. Okay. But don't worry, these sandflies don't contain the Leishmaniasis parasite. They normally drink nectar, but before they lay eggs, the females need a protein meal, and my blood is going to provide that. That's interesting, because I... I can't feel anything. Which is surprising, as the sandfly is drinking at a rate equivalent to us drinking 70 pints of thick, syrupy liquid in just 30 seconds. To do this, it's injecting a substance which brings the blood up to the surface of the skin. There's a redness appearing around your your skin around those. There's a little tiny bit of red, but I still can't feel anything right. at all. This is due to the sandfly's second lethal trick. It injects an anaesthetic, which gives it time to finish its meal in peace before it gets swiped away. Well, I might end up with a couple of small itchy lumps, but they won't do me any harm. Sandflies are only dangerous when they carry the real cause of leishmaniasis a microorganism called a protozoan, which is invisible to the human eye. The protozoa lie in the gut of the infected sandfly, biding their time until their host chooses its next victim. As they wait, they make a jelly-like substance which forces the sandfly to regurgitate a glob of parasites into the wound of its next blood meal. The body responds to the invading protozoa, causing the characteristic sores of leishmaniasis. Some forms of the disease can be fatal, and even the treatment is quite severe. It involves a 21 day to stay in hospital on an IV trip. It can have quite severe effects on, on the pancreas, the heart, uh, make you very nauseous. So the best thing we can all do is avoid getting bitten in the first place. Insect repellents, long sleeve clothing, and sleeping under nets at night can all reduce that risk. It's unlikely we'll ever rid the world of this disease, but by taking simple precautions when we go on holiday, hopefully we can avoid contracting it. <laughs>